Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition on the Jehovah's Witness series. We will be discussing what does the Bible really teach? 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 is a favorite verse that is given to the foot soldiers of the Jehovah's Witness, highlighted by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society in order to gain converts. The Jehovah's Witness have their own books and, bi and Bible called the New World Translation. They will point to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 where it says, the head of every man is Christ, the head of every woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. And then they'll say something like this, You see, Jehovah God is the head of Jesus. Therefore, Jesus cannot be God. Big, big truth here, and after nearly a decade of studying the Bible, logic, philosophy, and learning from the top thinkers from around the world on the subject of religion, in particular Christianity, today I'd like to share my thoughts with you on 1 Corinthians 11. So the Christian looks at his Bible and thinks, Ah, oh, these poor people. I wish they hadn't fell in love with the Jehovah's Witness community and bought into the lie. It's so sad that they are emotionally attached and conform their entire life around, around this to accommodate the lifestyle, and now the price to change is very great. So after the Jehovah's Witness reads a verse in 1 Corinthians 11.3 where it says, The head of every man is Christ, the head of every woman is man, and the head of Christ is God, and they explain, therefore, Jesus cannot be God. The Christian says to the Jehovah's Witness, Hurry, call the men in black. I've married an alien. The Jehovah's Witness says, Alien? What do you mean, alien? The Christian says, Well, according to your logic, Christ cannot be God because God is the head. Then the wife cannot be human because her husband is the head. And the Jehovah's Witness says, Wow, I've never thought about it like that. And I'm strange, because most Jehovah's Witness will refuse to be open-minded and either just argue or leave. Can you explain what this verse means? Christian says, well, I'm no expert, just a regular Joe. And 1 Corinthians 11.3 shows positions in hierarchy, like the president. The president is the head of the military, or the police chief. He's head of the police, or the CEO. The CEO is the head of the staff. Or the husband. The husband is the head of the household. 1 Corinthians 11.3 does not address the different compositions of biology or of being. It's not saying that the wife is a different species than the husband. And it doesn't say that Christ is a different species of God. But rather a different relationship or role or position in the hierarchy. And the Jehovah's Witness says, oh, well, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really don't want to argue. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please share your Jehovah's Witness experience in the comments below, and if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Also, check out our other videos in regards to the Jehovah's Witness. Thank you so much, and have a good day.